Stars hockey team has once again found magic here in Big D. And even though part of the season evaporated due to the lockout, the wave of dedication and determination of this organization has just been absolutely amazing. And former Dallas star and now general manager Joe Neuendijk and the ever colorful commentator for the team, Daryl Ray, are here to tell us a little bit more. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank well, so you. I'm excited that the season is up and running and started. Joe, what has this season meant to you? Well, first of all, I'd like to. Uh Make this presentation to you, Hillary. Oh, you're we'll kidding me. Going. This is my. Oh, I thought you yeah. just brought this no, for show no, and tell. No, no, that's this for you. is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> KTXD TV. There you go. Oh, you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> you're part of the team. <laughs> you're part of the team now. I love it. Well, we were just talking before the show. I, I worked as the entertainment host for the Dallas yeah. Stars a bajillion years ago and cool. loved it. And I had, I'd been a hockey fan growing up, yeah. but it was a lot of fun to get to actually be there and feel yeah. the excitement during yeah. the games. Well, so. it's great to have hockey back, I think. Uh, Obviously, with the uh, missing part of the season, there was a real appetite for uh, for hockey back in the city. The fans have been terrific in the home games that we have. We haven't had that many home games yet, so but they, they've shown up, and uh, it's been real exciting down at the AAC. Well, I love the new Believe campaign. The commercials have been really inspiring and a lot of fun and really reminding people of why the Dallas Stars are such a great organization. And the games are just a, a, a lot of stinking fun. I mean, they're just a lot of fun. Well, the you know new ownership, uh, I think, bringing Jim Lights back as our, as our president. Joe's done wonderful work uh, under trying times the last few years, and now with... Uh, a good young core that we have here now to build with and uh, I think you saw last night although the outcome wasn't great uh, the the vibrancy within the American Airlines Center it, it's the one sport where you can have a true home ice advantage I think because of the fans and it feels fun in that building again well since Texas is not necessarily a, a huge hockey state what do you say to people that think it's just a, a bunch of fighting on the ice well, there's some of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that that's what that there's some that love that, uh, but I, I think it's uh, I think it's grown. I mean, we've been here for 20 years now, uh, yeah. celebrating our 20th year in in Dallas since they made the move from from Minnesota, and uh, you know the fans. There's there's a core cult. Uh, fan base that understands the game and then there's the broad base mm -hmm. that we're trying to teach the game to and uh, I, th I think winning helps yeah. obviously <laughs> that's his job yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, I also think that it, it's been difficult and it's been challenging for a lot of people here in Texas to grab onto something the last few years because we we've been under some trying times but right. I think like Razor said when Tom took over a year a year ago uh, that he really brought a lot of stability to the organization and it's allowed us to do some things that we might not ordinarily uh, have been able to do. We, ha we have a pipeline of kids now so there's a lot of things uh, exciting to look forward to and I think uh, the fans are, are, are seeing that. But do you see a Stanley Cup in the future? That is the goal. Uh, how quickly we get there uh, I, I think is uh, the development of our kids and and uh, how quickly they can become uh, superstars in this league. But we're seeing a, a lot of young kids that uh, weren't projected maybe to be on our team this year that are having an impact on our team right now. So, and we have some more in the minors, so it's, it's been exciting. What that means is a uh, Stanley Cup within five years. <laughs> right. what, yeah. We're gonna hold you to it. It's kind of GM speak for that, <laughs> yeah. so. So how do you feel like things have changed since you played? Well, the game is, uh, both of us played kind of in the same era mm -hmm. for a while. Because you were a goalie, right? Yes, I, well, sort of, yes. <laughs> he, he was a goalie, and then he became a broadcaster, part-time goalie for us <laughs> uh, in, the, in the late 90s, which was, was really good for our hockey club. But uh, it, the game is so different now. It really is the speed of it, uh, the pace at which they play. It, it's, it's amazing to me how fast the game is, so I would say that's the biggest difference. It is. Uh, you know, they made some rule changes to, to change it from sort of a plotting mm -hmm. game that it was maybe uh, you know eight ten years ago to uh, this fast exciting game with more offense I think involved in it and right. uh, fans seem to have globbed onto it that's what I love about it because there's never a dull moment I mean you you never sit there twiddling your thumbs during a stars game ever I mean, it's no it and it, you know I hate saying this and I have to agree with it a little bit but it is one of the greatest uh, spectacles live mm -hmm. as far as sporting events are hasn't always translated that well to television although we try Ralph and I try and have been for almost two decades here speaking of which so we have some Daryl Rayisms. oh really <laughs> that we wanted to talk to you about so oh let's see if I can find those uh, you have some very colorful you said I'm uh, trying to put the color back in color man <laughs> is what I try to do so uh, the score is one to one 
I'm trying to think if there's, but each goal has some odor on it. I was trying to remember what you said. <laughs> yes, I, I tossed that one in there. It, I try to find a nice way to say things that <laughs> maybe He's aren't that. He's been pretzeled that, and lawn mowered, right? Yeah, <laughs> lawn chaired and pretzeled when he hits a guy in the corner, <laughs> rather than just, you know, drills a guy in the corner. Or a shambolic so. finish. Like, I think you're really encouraging a lot of us to get our dictionary and our thesaurus out and learn something new. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard people get people get sent to the thesaurus <laughs> in-game to find out what I'm talking about. Just trying to keep it interesting. Because pugilistic hockey? We had that the other night one? in Vancouver, yes. didn't we? <laughs> we did. A little truculence. There is a there is a role for fighting in the National Hockey yeah. League. You so. keep us on our toes. We love that. That's right. Well, so what about some things that fans can expect? Because there's some some really exciting stuff coming up this season and the rest of the season. Well, there really there really is with this shortened season. Uh, all the games mean so much, and mm -hmm. we've. Just this past week, we've gone from a high in Vancouver, where it was an incredible victory uh, and, and building block for our team, to to a low yesterday of giving up three goals in the third period. Right. These things do happen, but it's it's just uh, the wave of emotion, and and I think the fans feel that too. But we have an exciting team. We have some really good uh, players in in certain roles that are doing a good job for us. Ryan Garbett. Mm -hmm. These guys uh, don't want to come out of the lineup, so they're doing everything they can. And with that, you get a little truculence like we had the other night in uh, in, in Vancouver. See, it rubs off. Yeah, he's, that's, he's, that's he used, he used truculence. <laughs> truculence. This, is, uh, this, though, is a, it's like a hyper season. Usually uh, an NHL season is 82 games long. This one's only it's 48. It's on steroids. So you got, yeah, exactly. Love it. Only without the steroids. Well, that's and right. now, now I have my sweater to wear, eh? Yes. Hey, Thank you, you very much. Well, girl. I'm glad you guys were here. Thanks. Good to see you Thanks again, Hillary. Thank much. you. Well, the Dallas Stars will be back at American Airlines Center Thursday night at 7.30 playing the Vancouver Canucks. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to be giving away 10 pairs of tickets. So if you'd like to put your name in the hat, just go to dliving.tv. You'll be able to register there. And then we're going to announce the 10 sets of winners on tomorrow's show. So get on there and register.